Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft Wrath of the Lich King Classic and our Draenei Shaman playthrough. We are headed back to the south today. We should be looking for some piles of leaves off to the sides of the road here. Also looking for a fallen log to complete our disguise. Hope you guys are doing well today. Thank you for clicking on the video and choosing to spend some of your time here with me. I really do appreciate it. I did work on our skinning, our fishing, our cooking a little bit. So skinning, we're actually 67 out of 70. I need to uh, visit a training, a trainer really soon. But I did work on some of that stuff, keeping on pushing the professions forward. And it's felt pretty good. But yeah, I do need to find a skinning trainer uh, probably relatively soon. At level 10, we'll have to go... I think we'll have to go to the Exodar at level 10. So that could be a time to do it. Uh, for now, we could head over to the west. We have relics to gather. We have a Naga to fight. And along the way, maybe we'll find the rest of our pile of leaves. Let's refresh Rockbiter weapon. Let's get Lightning Shield up. The small eggs from the Striders we can also use for cooking. We need to head much more south if we want to actually get to the ruins. He dropped a two-handed mace that we actually can't use yet. I need to visit the weapon trainer at the Exodar as well, just to make sure that we've learned all of the weapons we can here. And then eventually it'll be time to uh, visit the other cities and learn their weapon skills. We got a rune-covered tablet. I'm pretty sure that's a quest item. You cannot make out any of the symbols on the tablet. Perhaps the priestess would be able to decipher the mysterious runes. But yeah, I do plan to take this character over into the Eastern Kingdoms and do some stuff in Westfall and Red Ridge and Duskwood. So whenever we take her over there, that'll be a good time to grab all of the weapon skills from Ironforge and from uh, Stormwind. I think we just need, mainly we just need axes. We need two-handed maces, one-handed axes, and two-handed axes. Pretty sure that's just Ironforge and Stormwind. We shouldn't need anything in Darnassus. If I'm wrong about that, please let me know.
especially early levels, the shaman is a, is a really great balance of casting and having melee ability. It probably won't stay that way depending on like what spec we go. I I'm assuming that elemental is more of like a keep them at range and kill them type of spec. Whereas with enhancement, we're, we're probably just going to be mainly hitting them. But maybe that's not the case. I, I kind of like that balance of starting at range and firing off some lightning bolts and then getting them into melee. Maybe starting at range and finishing them in melee is more of something that elemental spec does. So we need one more Siren and one more Myrmidon. Here is the last Myrmidon we need, and there is the last Siren we need. We have stuff to do on this island, but we're going to be sent back this way anyhow, so I think we just hold off on that stuff until we're sent back out this way. Let's go back to the landing and turn in everything we've done so far. Soon. I am on. 
You found something. I can't read these runes, but I know someone who can. Go in peace. So the dwarf is going to go ahead and read those for us. Let's turn in the disguise parts to Admiral Odysseus. According to the plans, the traitor and the leader of the goblins, Giesel, are to meet at a cove on the western island. I need you to be at that meeting. So we're going to go spy on the spy. So we're finding out about a, a Naga warlord. That's uh, ordered his Naga to take the rest of the island by force. And reinforcements are coming from Najatar. Unfortunately, they won't arrive until Battle for Azeroth. Goddess, bless you. A Naga invasion would be disastrous. I've seen what Naga can do, and I would not want to see such a catastrophe befall any being. If I were to guess, this warlord Shriz will be hidden in a cave, probably along the coast to the west. Goddess, watch over you. Okay. So there we go. We have to go fight him in the cave, spy on the meeting, find the fishermen, and then we have a quest up here to the north. So, now we have quite a few things to do out to the west. Uh, we are looking like maybe we should vendor. What's on your mind? We don't have a ton of bag space. Uh, I think maybe I can use the clams to open them. I have a recipe now for boiled clams, I think. So let's keep those. Let's sell the seashells. I also bought some bait. Uh, we also don't have our best shield equipped. And we don't need that. Off with you. Boiled clams. Oh, we need the refreshing spring water that we, uh, I'm pretty sure we just Great sold it. We sold one. Apparently. How are you? See you around. Uh, let's go ahead and buy a small brown pouch. A second small brown pouch. Let's just complete it. Since we haven't had any luck with finding bags. That's going to help us out. Now we can boil these clams. Four stamina for 15 minutes. This has two stamina and spirit. So I think the boiled clams are going to be an improvement going forward. Although we'll cook the rest of these as well. We'll cook everything we have just to get it out of our inventory. I supply only the finest goods. See you later. All right, now we can go.
Alright, we're probably gonna have to fight our way in from here, otherwise we're gonna end up aggroing somebody accidentally. That is a long hamstring that he hit us with. Very, very rude. Well, we targeted the wrong guy. That was uh, very big brain smart of us. So let's drop a taunting totem here. Well, it's even holding aggro over us, which is very impressive, actually. Maybe it got buffed in Wrath. I feel like he's back here, right? I don't think he's up top here. Let's take the side entrance. Uh, he is not here. Maybe he is in a different part of this place. In fact, if I'm actually using the minimap at all, I would find that he is maybe somewhere else entirely. That I don't quite understand. I feel like every time I've been in this cave, I I've gotten really lost. <laughs> I'm bad in caves, just in general. So yeah, now I'm not sure if maybe he's... is he beneath us? And I've done this cave a handful of times. There's not really a good excuse for me not to know where to go. But yeah, it does seem like we have to come down to another level here. And then somehow we found our way... we find our way out of here, which... That'll be the more interesting part. Here he is. It's 
tagging from around the corner here. He's level 10, I'm gonna put a few more lighting bolts into him. And there we go. Okay, so now we're not going out the way we came. We might have to fight our way out that way. Yeah, we're gonna have to fight our way out. We have other stuff to do on this side of the island, so we, we can't hearth out. That would be kind of pointless. We'll just fight our way to what will hopefully be the exit. I think we're going to circle around up here to get out, just because that makes more sense than going into what appears to be a dead end. Okay, here we are. This was the first place we checked. Okay, now I know where we're at. And that is the exit. And thanks to the relatively chill respawn rate, we don't have to fight any of the guys that we fought all the way on the way in, so... It's always nice and really feels gratifying when you have enough time to clear an area without respawns, like, filling up the place behind you. Got one respawn here. Probably a couple more outside, too. But just about perfect for the amount of time it took us to kind of figure out where to go and then to get out again. Just about a perfect respawn rate. And hey, look at that, there's level 10. Level 10, which means we'll get into our talents here. In Elemental, we reduce the mana cost of our Shock, Lightning Bolt, Chain Lightning, Lava Burst, Wind Shear. We reduce the cost of everything by a lot. Increase the damage done by everything. <laughs> Lightning Bolt, Chain Lightning, Thunderstorm, Lava Burst, and Shock Spells. Seems absolutely amazing. Uh, in Enhancement, we can increase our Intellect, we can increase Earth Grass, Totem, or Enhancing. I'm gonna go into Elemental to start things off. The only question is, am I gonna reduce the cost or make everything stronger first? I'm gonna alternate. We're doing this. We're doing so good on mana conservation anyway, I'm really excited to see what it's like when we reduce the cost and increase the effectiveness of all these spells. It's probably going to be pretty overpowered feeling. Alright, so we need to head over here to do the spy quest. Let's take care of that one first. And then we'll check out what else is going on on the island.
And now we are a tree with the strangest fixed camera that uh, I've seen. There we go. We have Giesel and Engineer Spark, who is our traitor. Or wait, is Giesel the traitor? No, I think I think Engineer Spark is the traitor. What's the big idea? You nearly blew my cover, idiot. I told you to put the compass and navigation map somewhere safe, not out in the open for any fool to discover. The master has gone to great lengths to secure information about the whereabouts of the Exodar. You could have blown the entire operation, including the cover of our spy on the inside. On the inside of the Exodar. Hmm. Okay. Oh, he's saying stuff that I, I can't quite see his dialogue. Relax, do you know what Kalthos does to those who fail him, Giesel? Eternal suffering and pain. Do not screw this up. Our blood mist scouts have located our contact. The fool Velen will soon leave himself open and defenseless long enough for us to strike. Now get out of my sight before I vaporize you. Okay. Don't mind us. We, uh, we saw nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay, let's go check on the missing fisherman. My family, what have I done? What could I have done? Why must I be punished so? We had lived peacefully among the owl beasts of this island for many years. You can imagine my surprise when they stormed the beach and attacked us. I fought tooth and nail, but was easily overpowered. As I blacked out from my vicious blows that I had been dealt, I prayed that my family not suffer. When I awoke, all was quiet. The sand was soaked red with blood. Their blood. They were devoured whole. I care not for revenge. I only ask that the remains be returned to me for a proper burial. A little bit of revenge wouldn't be too bad either. I don't know if you could have revenge against, like, the equivalent of animals. I don't know how sentient, like, owl beasts are, but... If they're aberrant, they're probably, like, out of their minds. We're gonna have to kill a bunch anyway to find their remains, so it's basically revenge. These guys are level 10. And we're going to make our way to the north so we can get over to this quest to cry for help. It is a escort quest. It says group. I've done it several times and never needed the group. So, oh, someone's doing it right now. I'm hoping that by the time we find the remains, that this person will be done with the escort and we can actually do it. It's worth a bit of experience, so. Uh, we do need Rockbiter weapon refreshed here. There we go. Much better. I wonder if it's just worth throwing down Stoneclaw Totem when they get into melee to distract them enough just to prevent some hits coming in. Because they seem to attack it even though we're attacking them. I'm going to try it in a couple of pulls and see how it works out for us. If we can avoid a little bit of damage that would be great. There's a chest here we're going to go for. Now see, he's not, he's not being fooled by it. He's not going for it, because we're hitting him in the face.
Well, there we go. There are the family remains. We can head up here and see if she has respawned. I, I don't think she's going to be back so quickly. Kind of worried about how long it may take for her to get back. I don't know if it's an instant reset as soon as a player finishes the quest, if the NPC simply reappears where they were at, or if there's like some kind of cooldown involved. Maybe we'll fight a couple more guys if she's not there yet, just to uh, kill time in hopes that she'll respawn sometime reasonably soon. I would very much like to do the quest since we're all the way out here. That being said, I don't want to stay in here for 15 minutes waiting for the quest giver to reappear, so... It's a little bit of a pickle. Big old owl-shaped pickle. She is not here yet. Hmm. Okay, well, let's fight for a couple minutes and we'll check one more time. If she's not there, she's not there, we'll move on, but it would definitely be good to have the kill ex the quest experience. But let's fight for a little bit. We're getting eggs from these guys, and we can use eggs for cooking, so it's not like a total waste. We're still getting materials that are useful to us. And again, that's something that's really cool about working on cooking and all these professions, is that most of the time, if we're fighting something, they'll have a useful item for us. We're also getting some refreshing um, spring water, which is good, because I didn't bring any water out with us. <laughs> So, if we need some, at, at least now we do have some. If we're at max range, we can let loose four lightning bolts before something gets to us. And the lightning bolt only costs 14 mana, whereas a shock costs 30, so... Lightning bolt is definitely our option at max range to be, like, super efficient with our mana. This guy, we're probably only gonna get three off before he closes the distance on us. All right, let's go check her again. Try to keep this immediate area cleared out, since we'll probably walk right through here if we do the quest.
there she is. Perfect. Our patience and diligence was rewarded. My family was attacked by the murlocs and owlkin of this island several weeks ago. I managed to escape, but I think that both my mother and father have been slain. Several weeks? Girl, you've been out here in the wilds for several weeks on this tiny island. You haven't gotten close enough to your house to realize that your dad is just sitting on the docks, still completely alive? I don't know what I'm going to do now, but I must try to get back to my home. They should have made this several days, several hours. <laughs> Not several weeks. It doesn't make sense for her to be out here crouched behind a log for several weeks. Um, yeah. And if she was resourceful enough in the woods to, to survive several weeks on her own, then she would probably be resourceful enough to get close enough to the house. Like, she could walk around the island on the beach to stay away from the owlkin. And at least scout the house out and see that, hey, dad's just sitting there on the, on the docks for eternity until the cataclysm happens. He's probably still there after that. But yeah, several weeks? No. Sometimes those little details matter. Days to weeks is a big difference. Yeah, it says this is a group quest, but I've never had it throw anything at me that I couldn't handle. Just on a single character. Our home is this way, through the thicket. Mm -hmm. This guy is like... He's inbound. He's not really inbound. He's, he's actually running away. He's outbound. And we did clear a portion of this, so... We might not get into a single combat the entire way. I'm, I'm curious why this was marked as a group quest. Are these guys elites or something? Back in Burning Crusade? I feel like we did this in Burning Crusade when it first came out and... I, I don't remember anything here ever being an elite. She doesn't... nothing spawns to attack us. The enemies here are not that difficult. <laughs> and it's just really interesting that it's marked as a group quest. Certainly does not require a group. Look, we're gonna fight one guy. He ignored her and came right for us. My poor family, everything has been destroyed. Yeah, the inside of the house is wrecked. A crystal fell through the freaking roof, so... It's pretty messed up, actually. Just sleeping alone on your island home and uh, a giant crystal falls through your roof and then you're being torn apart by Crazy Owlkin. Not exactly what you like to see. She cries, help me, as she runs to help us. Come on.
and reunited. Can I assist you? They get reunited, and if we don't leave quickly enough, we're going to see her disappear into thin air, and it's actually really sad to watch. Thanks for getting me back here safely to my father. Now we have to leave before she vanishes. Nobody look. See, they're back together, they're a happy family, and we will... We're going to hearth back to Azure Watch, and we're going to make the run from there. It's going to be a little bit quicker. And it looks like there might be a few more quests here now that we hit level 10. We're, of course, going to have our Shaman quest. And some Shaman abilities to train. Let's do that. Must not give up. Uh, we got Flame Shock, which is great. Flame Tongue Weapon, also good. And Strength of Earth Totem. Okay. Let's have a look. Flame Shock instantly sears the target with fire, causing 21 fire damage immediately and 42 fire damage over 18 seconds. This periodic damage may critically strike and will occur more rapidly based on the caster's spell haste. Let's do something like that. I don't need that to be on F1 like that. Let's move all of these down. Okay, and then what else? Imbue the Shaman's weapon with fire, increasing total spell damage by 7. Each hit causes 4.2 to 13 additional fire damage based on the speed of the weapon. Slower weapons cause more fire damage per swing. We want to be using this if we're going to be leaning more into an, an elemental, I think. So I'm going to do that for now. And yeah, I think that we are good there. Once again, you are to be tested, and this time, the chaotic element of fire must be understood if you are to create a totem to harness its energies. To the northeast, on the coast, is a sacred place of fire known as the Emberglade. Amidst its burned trees stands Temper, a fire elemental of great power, and the one you must speak with. Go to him now, and may the elemental spirits of Azeroth go with you. Let's prioritize doing this. Um, I feel like it's going to be a lot of running back and forth. And if that's the case, I am sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I, I do want to get this done. It's not like 100% necessary. We'll get our fire totem. That'll give us immediately just a little bit more DPS in combat. Kind of like another damage over time. We also have a coming of age quest. But this might be taking us to Blood Mist. Might be a Blood Mist. Breadcrumb. Maybe while we're up here, we run over to this uh, skinning trainer. I, I really don't want to get capped out on our skinning. That's what I don't want. I think these are Furbolgs, right? Maybe we can't even visit them without doing the uh, the learning the language quest. I bet I, I miss out 
on, uh, on a quest chain by not doing that one. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see. They'll still talk to us, it looks like. Maybe not. L let's see. Yeah, we we, uh, we don't get access to this unless we do that runaround quest. I should have figured as much. And I think there's a whole chain of quests to do here. So maybe I will have to do that one after all. Just a little bit of wasted time. Well, this was a bad idea. Um, I'm, I'm locked in now with this bad choice. We're gonna run through this, and we're gonna hope for the best. We could drop a uh, slowing totem to help us out a little bit. But yeah, bad choice to run through those guys. Okay, here we go. I know this one is not quite as long as the water elemental one, but I, I still think there's quite a bit we have to get done. I really wish they would streamline these a little bit more or remove them entirely, the, the totem quests. I trust that the burning I see behind your eyes is from the desire to grow and understand. One of my brethren, Hatir, has gone insane, no doubt because of the crash of your ship. He's begun demanding that the local owl beast worship him. Can't have that. Can't have that. Alright, we're going over here first. We have to fight our way through all these guys because they, they are crawling all over the place out here. I, I don't think we can get where we're going without getting through them. We can skin them. I did not realize that. That's good. That being said, I'm about to be capped out on uh, skinning, which is the opposite of good. Very, very unhappy about that. But, yeah, I did it to myself, so... I'm actually just going to run through here uh, again against my better judgment. Slow these guys down. Uh, we're looking for a ritual torch from crazed wildkin that are going to be inside of Silver Pine Hold. <laughs> They're not even going to be back here, guys. If I had read the entire quest instead of skim reading it for the first time in a while, um, I would realize that they're in Silver Pine Hold. That's kind of the thing is like, I, I, there are lots of quests in the game. And the only quests that I really find annoying are class quests. Uh, the reason I find class quests so annoying is that they oftentimes take you way, way away from everything else that you're working on and send you in a direction where you can't do anything else. And also, they are usually like absolutely prerequisite, get them done as soon as possible. 
uh, type of deals. Like, if I hold off on the fire totem, I know it will aggravate people and drive people crazy. So, yeah, I do have to do this now-ish. But I'm not feeling good about the state of our skinning. Um, yeah, I'm just... I'm not feeling really good about that. My instinct is just to head back to town. But now we're all the way out here, so... Let's see if we can find some of these guys. Now, if we had done their quest, um, you know, learned their language and whatnot, I probably could have paired some other quest up with this quest. And it probably would have been a lot more satisfying. Yeah, we just need one ritual torch, so... Find out what the drop rate in here is gonna be like pretty quickly. Someone has just torn through here and fought like everything on this side. Uh, Chieftain Umuru also down. Yeah, probably would have needed him for a quest. And there we go, there's the Ritual Torch. Of course, now we're going to have everything that the other player killed to respawn behind us. So it's probably going to be quite a bit for us to actually get out of here. Unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, see, everything is back up. Everything is back up. Okay. We're doing this.
Uh, okay. They're doing a little role play here. We, we can't turn in the quest until this scenario is done. Also, spoiler alert. Any minute now. Any minute now we'll be able to turn in our quest. <laughs> there we go. You have the torch. See how its fire never goes out? That is the work of Hatir. It is a symbol of his arrogance. Flame is meant to consume that which it burns and then itself die to be reborn anew. I would help you douse the torch, but it must stay lit for you to help deal with Hatir. We will let it burn a little while longer. The Owl Beast of Moonwing Den on Silver Mist Isle, far to the southwest, have been deluded into thinking that Hatir is a god to be worshipped. What he truly is, is a fallen elemental who needs to be put out of his misery. Okay, yeah, um, that's all the way down here. Guys, we are going to take a break here for today. When we come back, I will have our fire totem. I will have trained skinning up so that we can actually continue to skin. And I will have done this quest here to learn the Furbolg language. All of that will be taken care of the next time you see me here on the Shaman. I'll get that stuff done, and then we can hopefully work on some stuff in Still Pine Hold. Really don't want to lose the experience from that stuff. So yeah, that is what to expect next time, guys. Thank you all so much for being here. I really do appreciate the support on the series. I'm really loving the Shaman. I think it's going to be interesting to go more of an elemental route this time. It's something I've never done before on the Shaman. And yeah, all the talents seem initially very interesting and useful, and I like that. So we're going to get into the elemental side of things here on our Draenei Shaman. Hope you guys are cool with that. Let me know what you think. I would love to hear from you. And until next time, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again sometime very soon. Bye for now.